Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the damn channel, man. Um, it's been it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, I've been working like three weeks straight. You know, haven't had time to really do this, but I've been ordering parts and getting everything sorted out. Um, as you can tell by the title, we are going to a blow through system, which requires a blow out valve. So it's gonna sound like. Psh so that should be beautiful but there's a lot of little things that you need to get um and there's not a lot of videos i was trying to search up for some videos on youtube but man i couldn't really find anything on this setup so i had to really do some research contact Lido as well so with that said guys let me show you the parts so to start off with let me show you the this is the tile 50 millimeter blow -up valve um we actually already opened it there you go we opened it so pretty much this one comes with a 10 psi spring but this is too big for the supercharger so Lido recommends a, a 2 psi spring for the supercharger and it's even here and um they actually send you a a paper so i want i really want to show this to you guys let me get the light let me get this you can see the focus so pretty much those are all the springs and the colors so pretty much we have this one that is green it's a green spring it's marked green so that's what you need for the blowout valve so this spring pretty much just goes in here when you open it you get the top put it on top and then you just need to close it compress it and then you put the you put the little bolts that it, that it comes with and you should be set on that also, uh, Lido recommended this uh, map sensor. It's a BA5000 SCT um, map sensor. I think it's rated for a thousand horsepower. Um, so this is 230. The link, guys. So, so pretty much, guys, the link will be for everything here will be in the description. So make sure you go down there if you want this setup. It's gonna be really easy for you to to pretty much order all the parts. And then, as you see this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to do everything. So with that said, I believe that. Um, so okay i already told you what what i have here the springs are already inside the two psi spring so now you got to get your piping mine's all messed up guys this is like a used pipe i don't know but you got to get this flange this one let me see if i can just put it here you got to get this one and uh you got to weld it tig weld it it's aluminum let me get this paper put it right here in the box um, pretty much you gotta weld this flange it comes with the blow up if you get it new from tile but this one didn't come with it so pretty much you gotta reroute your your map of sensor this is a flange also that was that was welded to it so you have to relocate your map sensor and then you gotta add this one you gotta add this flange um for the blow up valve so pretty much the way this goes is right here boom and then there's a clamp this is a, this is the clamp that goes with it and you also have let me see if I can get it. Where is it at? You also have this little thing. It's like a ring. You put it right here over it. So there's no leaks. So we should get that done. So that's pretty much the setup on the blow valve. Um, like I said, every 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 part will be in the description. So I also, I, I don't know if y'all remember, if you go back in my videos, I've had belt issues. So I ordered from Vortex a new spacer kit for the for the Paxton OV2200 kit. A supercharger, my bad. And I also ordered this uh, Roush Heavy Duty Belt Tensioner. That's the part number right there if you want to order it. Like I said, it's in the description. Uh, so I, I have bought a, a brand new one stock and it broke it. So that like I need it. Like I just needed it. I needed it like ASAP. So also, let me take the light with me. I already have the belt. I already have the belt. I, I haven't ran it, but I have the belt. And as you can see these, this right here. Can I, can y'all see it? This right here, this one. Um, Those are the, the new Pacer kit for the for the supercharger so it should be it should be dope to be honest with you and um what else what else okay so pretty much as you can see here i actually got this ford racing throttle body san antonio tech so let me let me tell you the story this guy posted it and it wasn't working because the the flaps see how it actually returns now those flaps weren't working like at all so i i lowered the price on the dude he was asking i think like 400 and i told him hey bro it ain't working i'll give you 200 and he's like all right you know f it send it so he sold it to me i literally just took off this little this little tap right here and it was uh, the spring i just put it back how it was and it worked so <laughs> that was a great deal but i didn't know until now let me take you over here 
I actually let me let me let me actually demonstrate you. Let me demonstrate. Let me demonstrate. Let, let me get the part. Pretty much, I thought this was a this was a 62 millimeter throttle body, right? It looks like it lines up, but then the bolts weren't really lining up, and then the the flaps from here they don't really open. They're too big. So what had to be done guys so pretty much um i contacted i contacted a friend of mine derek and he told me bro that's a gt500 throttle body i'm like no way he's like yeah that's a 65 millimeter throttle body i'm like yo no wonder it wasn't fitting because the other one's 62 this one's 65 and so it's a uh, from 07 08 i believe gt500 throttle body but it's a ford racing so it's bigger than the stock one i believe the stock one if you go back it's it's a 60 millimeter throttle body so let me show you right here the bottom one is the stock one the top one is the 65 millimeter so it is a huge huge difference so it didn't fit so i just ordered a plate for it to fit from i just ordered it so i don't really know the, the website but it will be in the description um i'll probably put it in the video because i'll probably search it up so with that said guys pretty much what we're gonna do now is install the piping install this the blow valve the spring connect everything connect it to the to the piping uh install the, the tensioner and then uh what we have to wait for the for uh for the plate for this also guys i also guys i got some cheap ebay side markers it's the led strip red so it's gonna it's gonna look really nice so i also did that we're also doing that um and then we also had to get retuned i'm not getting retuned by Lidl because i already had a tuner that does mine it's called dirty dirty racing.com so I'm, I'm seeing how they're gonna do i got all oh, i also got some gauges guys i got a boost gauge and i got the, the pillar um i also have the white band but that's that's my friend so i have to order mine but i am gonna use it just just to tune the car <sighs> damn it's so much stocking but hey um pretty much guys this is pretty much the setup that you need to run a blow valve if i'm missing anything i will tell you i will let you know in this video i'm going to really into detail like i have right now because i really want y'all to know how to do it how to install it and the parts are going to be in the description so y'all don't have to search like i did um but with that said guys let's just get started installing these parts and i mean let's let's get it let's get it let's go all right guys let's get it so two psi spring get it doesn't really matter how you put it it just goes in there put the let me see you can see right here put the top align it hold it put a bolt right here make sure it gets it you gotta align it so you can really get it let me see i think you just got it yeah so you gotta put all of them so we're just gonna fast forward this we'll just cut it out all right guys so we already put the spring we already tightened the bolts up next step pretty much is we have to put uh we have to put it here i almost cussed i'm trying not to cuss uh put it right here you want to just all right so so okay i almost forgot it. i almost forgot it but we're not gonna forget it now we want to put the little little ring right here pretty much just sits in there i'd rather just put it over here right right uh, all right right there right there right there all right so that's that's so you get what i'm trying to do all right so let's put it right there and then let's put this over it that's pretty much how it goes this one i hope y'all can see just slide it and then pretty much just grab it so i want to put in a location where i can have access to take it off pretty much the pipe goes like this so i want to put this facing down so i can have access to it so pretty much from here guys oh your kit comes with it uh, it's right there right there right there Where is it? These are two. So, this bolt right here. Ah, uh, you got these. These two. So, pretty much what you want to do is, can y'all see? So, this pretty much goes in here and it tightens up. You're going to put them through here. So, if I remember right, this one goes through here, right there. And then this one goes through here. I put it like this. It's pretty much like that. And now, this one goes through here. It's pretty much like that. So, now you get it you tighten it with your hand and then you just try to run it like that with your fingers and you should be set now just tighten this and you should be good so let's just tighten this and we'll get back to it yo so can you see that i hope i hope this camera is like so we put we, we already tighten it this is how it is so on this one guys this little thing that goes inside make sure it's the flat part of the head that goes here so it can really sit right but yeah that's that's how it is and then right here at the top 
you're gonna have this so this is pretty tricky all right so you have this one mm, the way i saw it this has to go something like this and i believe this one just pretty much like this you go through it but i don't know how it's supposed to line up but i guess it just goes like this i mean i i, I believe you gotta line it up let me just see what's inside of there <laughs> yeah you see so pretty much this has to go like this little bolt right there. has to go all right well well i mean i don't really know how it's supposed to go but i've seen that they did that they just tighten it up and they run it like that i'm not really sure but we'll figure it out once we get to that point but yeah so that's pretty much it we got our blow up off ready we want to install the piping um but let's install let's install the map sensor on on that one and then we'll go from there guys let's get it all right guys so pretty much this pipe goes like this this is go to to the throttle body so this one pretty much is gonna be facing that way i hope they welded it right but yeah there you go sits there perfectly there it is can y'all see it so that's good right there put the little two bolts and you're all set the these little bolts go right here so run them tighten them and you're all set all right guys so we put the pipe back on it you can see it's right there we, ha we haven't really tightened it but man it's all crushed i guess because of the car how it is that's the first thing we'll get if it hits the bump but it works so we're gonna we're gonna stick with it but we got this um insert now we're gonna put that other one and so we can put the the map sensor let's get it yo guys what is up can you see me all right man so i got i kind of got carried away but i'm gonna go through everything that i've done so far i have to make this quick because i have low memory on, on my memory card but we installed the heavy duty tensioner right here um I need one bolt, but I'm gonna get that tomorrow. We installed the belt already. We installed the, the Paxton Novi 2200. It is painted. I mean, it needs some work, but whatever. Have the belt there. Uh, we also did the blow -off valve. Let me let me get a light for you. So we did the blow -off valve right there. Can y'all see it? I hope y'all can see it. We also ran the line that goes on top of it. So pretty much, guys, my friend has been helping me out. So pretty much, you get this line from your fuel rail. There's a T right here. So this one. You follow it. This one goes on your blow off valve. You go, you go through the bottom. You pass it through here, and that's where your blow off valve is at. And then we're also gonna run the boost gauge. Um, he's also helping me with that. But the kit comes with the T. Comes with your whole um line to run it. I'm gonna run it through the firewall for your gauge. My gauge is actually inside the car already. But we're gonna do that right now, and we should connect our gauge. And we also just installed the we also just installed the side markers. Let me show you that real quick. So guys, pretty much this is your stock one. Can y'all see it? It's just red and looks really nasty and it just flashes here because of a light bulb. But now look at it. Look at the ones I installed. I hope y'all can see it, dude. In person, that just looks like a straight line. It looks freaking beautiful. It looks awesome and it's really, really bright. You, you can see the floor. It's really dark, but you can see how it light up stuff. Like it, how it lights up the floor. Um, but yeah, and when you turn them off, they're black. So they just blacked out. But man, that's crazy. Ah, <sighs> guys, we're doing so much work. Um, hopefully we have it done by. Damn, y'all can't see me. Hopefully we have it done. Let me put this right. Hopefully y'all have. I have it done by maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm waiting for the plate. I put in a two day shipping on the plate for the throttle body. So crossing our fingers, we make it. With that said, guys, that's what I've been up to. Um, like I said, we're gonna run our boost gauge, connect it, everything, make it look pretty. And then uh, tomorrow we'll probably start installing the pipes and all that and pretty much have it done. And just wait for the plate for weekend. So you can put the plate, the throttle body, and then uh, we're waiting on the tune. So like I said, wish me luck and let's get it. Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back. It's the next day. Uh, it's kind of a little bit late. It's like about to be six, so it's getting dark on me already. But we got the light. We got the light right there and we also got other lights that we're gonna be putting but let me just show you what i got done <clears throat> so pretty much we got the belt on here we got this pipe we got the map sensor um we got the tensioner i hope you can see it's pretty much like a shadow here um <clears throat> we're also fixing we're fixing a pulley that we broke so pretty much go to autozone this is the kit you want to get thread repair system so hopefully it works and we get this going that's all we really need we got this one it's a breather filter it's gonna go it's gonna go right here because since we did it's right here we're gonna since we did eliminate a lot of lines we don't really need them since we're switching to a blow through system so pretty much we're gonna have to get rid of these these let me try to this damn this one so we gotta cut those this one too i got the grinder ready to go um so pretty much we're in a time crunch since this weekend we have to go race it we, we don't have to but we want to go race the car and it's a deadline for me that i always set um we pretty much got this exhaust i don't know clamp system type of stuff but i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna put a patch here and i'm gonna duct tape it 
since we can't weld it it's aluminum we don't have time to weld it more than likely so we're gonna invent something with some gorilla tape you know if it don't work you didn't use enough gorilla tape so with that said guys we're also waiting on a plate for this one for this one it's a 65 millimeter shelby gt 500 throttle body um but other than that man um pretty much let's get started let's get started cutting and typing and putting everything together so let's get it all right guys so we got it done now we're just gonna shave it down make sure it's smooth and we should be able to just patch it up and be good to go I hope y'all can see guys, but <clears throat> we already cut a hole. We cut them, cut this one too. We just folded this piece, we already cut it as well. I wish I knew how to weld so I can just weld it shut, but I don't, so we're just gonna duct tape it. Um, it's okay guys, this pipe doesn't get hot, so you should be good if you do it. Um, They sell, they sell other kits where you just put like a bolt and then it like expands, but uh, I guess this was cheaper. So let's get this, put this, put tape on it, do the same thing for this one, and we can install this one already, and uh, yeah, let's get it. I know that I can do better. I'm so in love with the chatter I'm so in love with my little boo It was written like a letter Think I was born with the juice Think I was born with Man, the sauce it's late uh we ran into a huge problem i thought i could fix it i tried to fix it i even tried to use these little things to make the to meet remake the threads uh, i used a lot of different bolts bigger bigger and i even made this thing this is actually for a supercharger but i i got another one i tried to make this bigger as well it just didn't work it just didn't work it just didn't work it just didn't work so yeah that's where a pulley goes sorry if it's like Dude, this sucks. This sucks as it's already Thursday. Well, it's Wednesday. It's about to be Thursday. I know I, I could finish it, but it's just so much work for a damn pulley. I thought I could fix it. I have the whole timing cover at the house. Like on the other one. <sighs> oh my God. So what I'm gonna do, and I know a lot of mechanics, a lot of race car people have this frustration. If something so small can become a job a lot of hours like a lot of hours you got to put into it so um i guess pretty much we're gonna start taking everything off again sadly i almost had it done but it is what it is can't do nothing about it i want it to look good i want it to to perform good to be honest with you uh so we're gonna take out the damn you can you see me we're gonna take out the timing cover i know if y'all know we gotta take out the two valve valve covers four bolts from the bottom we gotta take out the compressor you gotta take out the the water pump the tensioner obviously the whole supercharger as well power steering pump we gotta take off literally every single thing just to take off this valve this timing cover but uh, fuck it let's send it let's fix this correct i have the other one at the house i'm gonna go get it tomorrow but i'm gonna take this all off today tonight tomorrow put everything back together have it working that's the plan so let's do pretty much an all-nighter but yeah let's just fucking get to it let's get it let's get it Oh, yo guys, so in one hour we got some work done pretty much. We took out the radiator I didn't want it to be in the way. We took out the power steering. We took out the compressor We took out all the bolts from the timing cover. We're already loosening the bolts on the um, Valve covers. I don't know if I'm gonna have to loosen all of them pick it up I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure I hope I, I can just take it out like that Um, we took out the four bolts from the oil pan. We actually took out we also took out the bolt from the crankshaft So pretty much all there there all there is to do now is take off the, the crankshaft so we just put it out everything should come out um and I'm gonna do that tomorrow guys it's barely let me let me even check the time for you it's not even that late it's 11 59 um we did some crazy work i love the little gun helps out a lot um it's late i don't want to make any more noise i've been at this all day trying to just fix this damn thing right here this just look my whole finger can fit in here bro it's not supposed to it's supposed to look like this so y'all can see all this so right here is where the, the pulley sits this one doesn't have it it broke off and it actually i didn't break it though it actually broke with the tensioner so the tensioner is here i i actually have gotten a stock tensioner what happened is um when i stepped on it it actually broke the new stock tensioner and it, when i was trying to take it off it was so pried in here spring broke the tensioner just broke over here boom the pulley the pulley was here so i couldn't really take out the pulley and when i was uh taking off this bolt the pulley was still stuck and i just try to like take it out and it just boom it just cracked it so i guess it just it just happens guys but it is what it is i have the other time time um timing cover there at the house i'm gonna go get it at my parents house um and i'm gonna go get the tool so i can take out this and then tomorrow morning wake up early take it off put everything back together <sighs> and we should have a, a working supercharged blow off of working car i guess right so i'm just excited guys but it just takes a lot of work it, you know i've had a lot of downs with the car but I ain't gonna give up on it. I built this whole thing myself. I freaking put everything. I put everything though. So so yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow morning. 
and um good night I'll, I'll see you tomorrow let's get it yo guys what is up what is up again um so i know i left y'all last night i mean this night again but it was last night um we did some work we already put the time recover from the other engine we put the let me see if i can put the light here so i can point so y'all can really know what i'm talking about all right so uh ac compressor already bolted up power steering uh crank pulley is it of uh, it this is actually called the harmonic harmonic balancer we got that on we got all the bolts all the bolts from the time recover we got these from the valve covers we got up we also got the four from the bottom from the oil pan that go to the timing cover so everything's on guys so from here i actually got good news um my friend derek has a tune ready tomorrow i'm gonna go pick it up in the morning or yeah pretty much in the morning um so i'm gonna finish the car today also we also got let me put it over here we also got it rain guys so sorry if it's kind of wet we got the the spacer for the 65 millimeter throttle body it is a gt500 throttle body y'all don't know um but with that said guys we're gonna damn, can you see me we're gonna yeah damn all right right here let me, let me get right here we're gonna start putting the radiator put the radiator connect the hoses put all the pulleys put everything on it and damn i hope i hope i can turn it on already been too long it's been so much work just trying to fix that little bolt look let me see let me show you right here. let me get this bright light let me get it right here all right cool so uh, this is the that other timing cover from the from the car so what i was talking about guys is this you can see it so that that has to look like this with a little like nipple on it so the pulley can sit that actually broke off on this one i tried to to redo the threads it just didn't work and if i went any deeper if i went any deeper i was gonna go through the timing cover and potentially put metals inside the the timing chains and all that type of stuff and i don't want that so i just did the correct thing um and replaced it i, ha I had the other one so everything should just bolt up like i said we're just putting everything back together so let's get it and um man i pray we have the car ready at least I, at least i want to do a hit i don't want to break the car i don't want to rip the belt anymore dude i'm tired of freaking taking out the supercharger and all that but with that said man let's get it let's get it Algo pasa? all right guys gonna be the first startup on just the blow valve dale way Oh, 